Today we are going to be making 3-chlorocycopentene. 3-chlorocycopentene has a case number of 96-40-2 and a molecular formula of C5H7Cl. It has two degrees of unsaturation and has no functional groups. 3-chlorocycopentene also has a molecular weight of 102.56 grams per mole. And its melting point is around 8.70 degrees Celsius and a boiling point around 120.7 degrees Celsius. And of course, you can find it at a liquid state at 25 degrees Celsius. Now looking at the molecule, we have a total of 13 sigma bonds and only one pi bond, as you can see from that double bond right there. And of course, uh, there are only three carbons with sp3 hybridization and two carbons with our sp2 hybridization, which leaves us a total of two C CH2 groups and three CH groups. Moving forward, I will now show you how to put the molecule together with arsen atoms. In order to form 3-chlorocycopentene, we are going to start with our first carbon from our 5-carbon chain. Carbon 1 has a double bond on it, so we are just going to attach these right here. And we're going to move from here to make our 5-carbon chain. So here's carbon two, it attaches right onto this double bond. And then you can attach carbon three. And carbon three has our chlorine group, which is hence why it's called 3 chloro So we can just attach that right up here. And then you continue your carbon chain with carbon four. And then last but not least, you now have carbon five and have completed your five carbon chain. Next, we are going to finish up and add our hydrogens. So carbons one, two, and three all have one hydrogen attached to them. And carbons four and five have two hydrogens attached to them. Now carbons four and five, because they have two hydrogens attached to them, they are considered ethyl groups whereas carbons one and two only have one hydrogen attached to them, so they are considered methine groups. And carbons one and two are sp2 hybridized because they are attached to three different bonds. You can see that here with one, two, and three. And you can always tell something is sp2 hybridized when you see a double bond. And so then that means carbons three, four, and five are all sp3 hybridized because they are attached to four different bonds. One, two, three, and four. And this is how you make 3-chloro